So let's go next to my sort of French onion soup. It's kind of Kathy's onion soup more than it's French onion soup. And I am going to use a little bit of vegan butter. Okay? Now, you do not have to. So if you eat oil-free, I do not want you to feel in any way, shape, or form like I'm trying to encourage you to do something that's against your diet. It's perfect without it. What it adds is it adds Cheryl will eat this. <laughs> if I have some, and it, it is a little more rim, um, a little more of the flavor because like French onion soup is pretty much oil, beef broth, and onions. And that's just, that's, that's what most of it is. Now, I'm gonna be using mushrooms and I've chopped these. These are not the button mushrooms that I call for because the ones I had in my freezer were um, portobellas. They're going to work just as fine. And maybe these onions could be a little thinner. That's okay too, right? So just remember, everything's kind of okay. This time I'm going to go ahead and pull up the newer Instant Pot that I have. So this is the Duo Evo Plus, and we did an unboxing of that a while ago. So I'm going to start it, and I'm going to put it on saute, and I'm still getting used to this one, and it's on high. Excellent. So we'll pour a little water in there, and we're going to put just a little bit extra. I kept aside a little bit extra anyhow, um, and again... And I'm going to add in, um, I could have added in the butter now, but I'm going to add it in near the end. <laughs> and part of it is just because I'm not used to um, really waiting for anything to heat up anymore. So I'm just going to kind of take my wooden spoon or whatever you have. It could be a silicone spoon. And I'm just kind of twirling these to kind of separate them a little bit more. The longest process of this soup is really cooking down the onions enough. Because we don't, French onion soup, it's like almost melty, the onions. And you could even um, make a batch of caramelized onions. Actually, if I can just flip this. I can see in the, with the camera, there's some I'm missing over here. And this is going to speed up the cooking process and make it more even to do this. You'll have less little things that are annoying you later on. And this is um, about two cups of sliced onions. And you could use any kind of onions that you want. If you can get your hands on Vidalia onions, that is always my first recommendation. They're a little bit sweeter. And it's pretty yummy. These, because these were frozen and they were in much bigger chunks, before they thawed out, I made sure to put them in my little food processor and chop them up. Because if I had waited, and this is with a lot of things that go into the freezer, if, you, if they're already chopped fairly small, if you use the food processor while they're still frozen, it'll be clean and neat and won't try and puree it or anything, which is, I think, super helpful. This is the one dish that I would not suggest leaving out the onions. This would, if you're an onion hater, I would suggest you don't make this, this dish at all. I think it's not helpful to make onion soup if you hate onions. And I suspect you would agree with me. And what's funny is because Cheryl hates onions and thinks garlic is stinky, but she'll walk in the house all the time when I'm just sauteing onions. Oh my God, that smells so good. Again, sometimes I think onion haters aren't really onion haters. Like Cheryl is very much a texture eater, and so that's an issue for her, the texture of onions and the texture of some other veggies. That is also why you see a lot of purees and minces coming out of my recipes. You guys can start seeing these cooking up a little bit now. And because the onions are larger, and because we're making French onion soup, 
this is probably going to be one of the longest processes that we do today other than cooking because these we're going to want to get really really good and then well yeah we'll do it this way and we want to get these much much better than this and i'm going to I'm going to wait until um, the liquid gets down a little more, and then I'm going to go ahead and add in some of that butter. And it's vegan butter, by the way. It's um, Actually, it's like country crock plant butter. You could use Miyoko's. On, and also, I'm going to go ahead about now and put in this garlic. I just have a little bit of garlic, which is basically kind of flavoring the broth a little bit. And I loved this soup. So what you can do with it too is you can serve it traditionally with a piece of toasted bread and a little melted cheese. And an easy way to do that is put it in an oven safe um, container like a Pyrex or a bowl, a ceramic bowl that can go in the oven. And if you use some shredded cheese, you could go ahead and grate some of that and put it on. You could also, in the gluten-free vegan um, cooking in your Instant Pot, I have an oil-free sliceable cheese that melts. It's made with chickpeas and a few other ingredients. So it does have things like carrageenan in it. It has some vegan um, lactic acid. So to buy the ingredients for that is an investment, but then you have enough to make over a year's worth. So just know that. And if you just want to try it, maybe you can go in on some with a friend or... If you live near me, <laughs> I can leave you a tablespoon or two outside because um, it really just doesn't take that much. You can kind of just see where the onions are. I know I keep kind of moving it out of the camera, but I'm trying to get it where it's not so foggy because it's really, really going at it right now. But you see how they're starting to get really nice and limp. And so, like I said, we're cooking these onions more than we normally would. And I'm going to let them get good and good and transparent. And I'm going to go ahead and throw this little knob of butter in there, which you don't have to do. It's just going to make the soup a little bit richer. And I do have to say, the smell of the vegan butter is kind of nice. It's not something I use very often at all. And I just always have loved onion soup. There's just something, it was, I remember when we were like in junior high, we would go to this place and get it, like me and my friends, and we felt so classy to get the French onion soup. <laughs> which is kind of hilarious, but you know, you do what you can. There we go. Let me let you see what's going on in here. It's hard to, it's really making a lot of steam. There you go. You can sort of see them a little bit more. So that's what we're looking at about now. These are starting to look pretty good. So they're getting a little bit of a yellowish, slight yellowish tint. Some of it's from the cooking and some of it is from the vegan butter that I put in. I'm gonna go ahead and add in these mushrooms. And this is kind of how we're making our vegan beef broth. And you could use mushroom broth instead. Um, I find I really enjoy having the mushroom pieces in there as well. You may not. And if you don't, 
then you can totally skip that part and use broth instead. But it also gives it a little bit more heartiness when you're eating it. Oh, if you guys could smell this. This does smell a little bit like magic. And we could even have cooked these onions a little bit longer too if we wanted to. I just feel like there's only so much onion watching I can make you do. <laughs> and we've got that in there. So we're gonna let this saute for about, I don't know, about five more minutes. And I say it a lot of times until the mushrooms begin to release their liquid. Actually, let's be over here. Can you guys see? that now all of a sudden it looks like there's so much more liquid than there was just a few minutes ago. That's what I mean by that. And you could have done these until it just looks like limp noodles, like just, so you probably could do these. I said on here, to do them for about eight minutes, and you probably could do just saute them for about 15 to 16, maybe even up to 20 minutes if on a lower heat if you wanted to. And we could still kind of keep cooking them here. <laughs> but it's funny, this it's up here, you can tell that I've got the fan working, but it's because it's just so steamed up but you can kind of see, that we'll just cook these a little bit more. It smells really good. And so what the mushrooms bring in too is that kind of darker umami flavor that in the original, the beef broth is doing. So it kind of brings that lower note into kind of that whole spectrum of flavor that you get from French onion soup. And so while we're cooking, so the mushrooms release their liquid. And so with all this coming out, it's reducing. So it's almost intensifying as if we are, would have put um, mushroom broth in there or some kind of mushroom extract. So you can think of it that way too. Oh, it smells so good. Now, if you are just using water, you may have to add a little more water here and there. You may not also, but just kind of keep a better eye on it. Because this has that little bit of oil in it, it's not going to stick. I would have to burn it to make it stick. Okay, let's take another look. You see how it's getting floppier? Like I said, some of it was my lazy job. I didn't sl slice it thin enough. You could use a mandolin to slice. But I'm kind of thinking I'm keeping this batch for me and Cheryl isn't going to be involved in it. And I'm good with that. <laughs> I'm real good with that. Okay, so I'm going to cancel this. And then we're going to put about three cups of water in here. We're going to go ahead and put a bay leaf. And I kind of, let's see, I have some tiny bay leaves, so I might put two in there. And then we're going to put a, about a half teaspoon of thyme. I don't have any fresh thyme right now. And we're going to put a little bit, about a teaspoon of balsamic vinegar. I'm using my fancy smancy one. You can use any one. And that's also kind of going to add some depth as well as brightness to it. Oh, it smells so good. This is a pot of fancy magic. And this just makes a little bit. Um, you could easily double this recipe if you wanted to. Always, there we go. 
All right, so we're going to pressure cook this for 15 minutes because we're um, custom 15 and press start. I did it. Okay. You see, look at that. And you do see a little bit of the oil because we use the butter. And that's what makes it look a little more like regular French onion soup. And it smells like French onion soup for sure. So let's taste the broth. Mm. Okay. I'm going to adjust this a little bit. So what I'm going to do, I like a lot of those flavors that are in there. I need to add some salt or use your favorite salt substitute or a mixture of cel ground celery seed, garlic powder, and onion powder. That is also like a really good generic salt substitute that's not going to like take all the flavors away. Now, because this traditionally has like salt and beef broth and things like that, it's usually high in sodium, but we're making the vegan version. So I am going to put one teaspoon of salt in there to make it a little extra salty. You don't have to though, so don't feel the need to do that at all. Also, if you end up topping it with some cheese, you're going to have some saltiness from that as well. Yep. Um, I don't think it needs anything else. I think with the onion soup, what I find is it's the onions cooked down with a little bit of garlic and mushroom is what makes it a little bit of time. And I can still taste that little bit of time in there because it's almost like this beautiful, beautiful bouillon um, consomme with just some stuff in it. And typically it doesn't have chunks of mushrooms. You could, like I said, use mushroom broth instead if you find that is offensive to you, but I really like it. So this is probably gonna be my lunch right here. I may eat all of it. Mm. 